It's May 5th, 2019. The flowers and the trees are blooming. It's a great Sunday. So, we've had, well, we got one dislike on the last vlog, okay? I'm gonna let the dislikes get to me. So, let's change it up today. Okay, we'll change it up. We're gonna cater to the, the hater. We've been getting complaints recently that we do the same thing every week. So today we're gonna change it up by going to church at the same time, setting up and tearing down. Uh, there's gonna be a few clips from the actual service itself, and then we're gonna go home. Dude, we're changing up. Jake's wearing a new shirt. Yeah. And I have a new pair of jeans. Nice. Wow. Ah. Let's have to find the balance. There you go. I don't think it's just as it no, you got it. Nice. I just can't fit through the door. Yeah, you got it. No, 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 you got it. No, you got it. It's one way to do it. Try it. Double. This is called screen tug of war. And then you have two teams of grown men <laughs> try to wrestle the screen back and forth. That is a loose term. <laughs> boys. We range anywhere from boys to men. Boys to men. Since we seem to do the exact same thing for the vlog every single week, eventually you just run out of things to say. Jeremy, what you doing? Ethercon? What's the Ethercon do? Magic. What kind of magic? Sound magic. <laughs> sound magic? Like getting 32 channels of audio to and from the digital sound console? Yeah, magic. Is it fat enough for you? Dude, it's so fat. It's so fat. No, crispy's not the right word. The word that Darwin was looking for was fat. Luke had just gotten a new snare, and he couldn't stop telling us how fat it was. It is the fattest snare on the planet. Yeah? I mean... No, but seriously, why do we want a fat snare? Because it's trendy. Well, Luke, you know what else is trendy? It's avocado toast, and you don't see me spending all my money on that healthy fat. Mmm. <laughs> That is nice and fat. Link to the snare in the description of this video. Your snare is so fat that it makes David Whitworth jealous. You know what I'm excited about this morning? What are you excited about this morning? We are singing the song, Another in the Fire, which is arguably what I think probably the best song written in 2019. Changed my mind. We're in the middle of rehearsal, our drummer, our nine-year-old drummer is not listening to the songs properly before rehearsal. And what's great is I have Ableton right here. I can pull up just the drum part and I can tell him, bro, there's no snare in this song until like the, s the fourth time. No, it's only rim shot. We need to hear you sing Megan's part one more time, just real quick. Huh? We need to hear you sing Megan's part one more time, real quick. Yeah. Joel, Joel Houston did write. Huh? Joel Houston is credited as one Hold of on, the- Hold on, I don't have you in my ears at all. That's good. I don't usually don't tell you that, but I just you know. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So it, it was just a, a slight mistake yeah. on my part last week. Cool. I turned it on. I don't ever make mistakes. It's funny that Brad, the engineer from Lockheed Martin, would say that he never makes mistakes because, well, today he made a mistake. So, I like the. I just I feel like we should put this over here. What do you guys think, huh? Wait, they can't tell us what they think. I know, but I like to give them the feeling like they oh, can tell us what we're doing. Yeah, thanks for the advice, guys. We're going to put the camera yeah. right here. Thanks to your guys' participation and feedback, we were able to put the camera here. And by doing so, we were able to catch Brad's awful, awful mistake. As you can see, our first set well, was just being morning, finished, and Jeremy, our sure host, was walking up on stage. My name is Jeremy Stevens. Brad, Brad the where are the host lights? The host slides. Brad? You can really see how awkward that was. Thanks, Brad. Yo, bros! Jake's not feeling very well right now, so we need to fix his vibe, dude. Jake, 
Bro, dude, let's go catch some Sunday waves, dog. I feel like I'm gonna pass out after this morning. I, I, I feel like right now. You feel like you're getting pitted right now, dog? I feel like I'm just in a, in a whole different world right now. Jake only ever thinks about two things. Church front. I think his sickness reminded him of the other two things in his life that he rarely thinks about. His twins. It is weird to see Jake in such a vulnerable place like this, but lately he has been showing a little more emotion. Well, we got a little taste of sappy Jake this week. You did. First don't time tell him. Don't, don't, don't tell him. Guys, guys, Jake had, Jake had an emotion. Don't tell him. He texted me. He said, thanks for this week was awesome, bro. <laughs> It was, bro. I it appreciate was, bro. you. Aww. I appreciate my employees. I appreciate my minions. Yeah, something's off, but... Yeah, dude, it's your vibe. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, dude, maybe if you start rolling those cables the right way, your vibe will just, like, roll up into you as well, doc. Well, bro, thanks for powering through, even when you didn't feel like it. You're a true leader. It was a good Sunday. Are your think... eyes open? Kind of. Well, uh, <laughs> hopefully we see you next Sunday. I'm gonna take a power nap. Yeah. All right, well, good night. I don't really have anything to say to them. Getting a lot of negative feedback on the vlogs lately. And I know like a ton of people are giving positive feedback, but for like those one or two people, like you don't realize that we're real people on the other side of the camera. Like I cry myself to sleep every night. And I mean, working with Jake, I already cried, but now it's like, it's just so much worse. And see. <laughs>